had drive the Model S before, a video probably about a month ago. So now I'm letting him drive the Model 3, see what he thinks, see what the difference. I like the steering wheel for sure. It seems to be, for some reason, it seems to be more responsive. Is that just me or, I don't know. It's a smaller car, so it feels more responsive. It's a lot lighter. And you, you really tell that when you start driving. Although you drove the other car a month ago, so it's... Yeah, so that, I don't remember. That's the, the other thing was the, the braking or the non-braking. That was the issue. Yeah, the regenerative braking. Uh, I have it on comfort. It can actually get tighter. This is fine. Actually, it's fun to drive. It's a nice uh, nice feeling car to drive, mm -hmm. even without autopilot. But no, it's, it's a nice driving car, so far anyway. Do autopilot? Is that what I use? You can do that. Just push down twice. Okay, let me get past this truck first and I don't trust myself. It's not really designed for these roads. And you just need to focus and pay attention where it's going. Keep your hand on the wheel like you're doing. And it's hugging the yellow line there. Uh, it It's closer to it, but it's not on it. <coughs> Whoa, okay. So it took it shut off, huh? Uh, yeah, because. What was that was, anyway? There was no lines there. Are you kind of confused? Uh, going over going over this bridge the, the uh, lines are kind of faded out so it doesn't see that stuff so it went back to it you have to steer it's not it's on cruise control okay. but you have to steer do it again what happened here that's confusing yeah again it's not designed for these side roads so sometimes it gets confused like that big intersection or that, that intersection there uh, it doesn't know what to do sometimes uh, and there's certain areas I've noticed that it will jam on the brakes quite a bit and I have the the distance is pretty far uh, I have it I had it set to four uh, four car lengths so it shouldn't shouldn't be jamming on the brakes like that but that's gonna get better that stuff it's learning okay. it might actually do that again up here no, I'm not, I'm but you're all oh, you're you're driving I'm driving right now I'm going to get up on my 50 yeah on the pedal and then you see hill hold that way you don't have okay. to hold the, the brake at all so you can rest your foot there. You don't have to. You don't have to hover over the accelerator. Okay. One of the differences you can see the cars next to you. Okay. Well, eventually they'll have semis and motorcycles here. Or is that just this is a prophecy? It's all going to be Model Three. Right? Yes. Or Teslas. Okay, I got it. Eventually, Tesla's the only one really pushing for that. Yeah. For pushing for electric cars anyway. Jaguar came out with their SUV. I put in quotes because it's about as much room inside as this car. But they call it an SUV, and they were, they put it up against the Model X in their their keynote. But they're only building twenty thousand total, so that, I don't know how that's really going to do anything. So it's going to lock on to that car, mm -hmm. and it does pretty well here. I mean, it'll do pretty well all the way down one fifty. You know, it'll slow down for all the traffic. That's that's interesting. Yeah, I mean, oh. a, a lot of cars have that now. Yeah, but. A lot of cars, a lot of other cars don't have it where it keeps you centered constantly. But that's what's nice about it. You can actually let go of the wheel in this slow traffic because you know nothing's going to really happen. It's going to break for that car. Uh, it sees it. You can actually grab some water, take a sip without holding the wheel. You can, if, if it's like it's bright out today, you can, if you forgot your sunglasses, you can grab your sunglasses. Well, now since we stopped, it's not going to actually tell you to grab it. Maybe once we start moving again. It basically, the computer realizes if that car is doing it, this car should be able to do it. And then with all the obstacles and all the sonars around, it puts all that together and makes an educated guess. Because it is still a beta, it's a guess. Mm -hmm. Now if I hit the brake, it's taken off of... Yeah, it's, it'll be completely out of just autopilot. Just like a... Like a yeah, just like any, any car. Mm -hmm. And it, it'll be out of cruise control and everything. So even through this intersection, if there's no lines. It's gonna keep following that car. It sees the berm over there, or the concrete barrier, and uh, it does really well. Keep it over. Now this, it doesn't show a line over here, so you actually have to take it out of cruise control okay. or autopilot and move over manually. You can actually just physically do it. Yeah. Slowly force the wheel. It, it won't be as a jerky of a thing, but if you give it a lot of torque at first. It stays in cruise control when you uh, force it out of autopilot. Okay. So if you hit the brake, it'll it's you driving. And then right here, since it opened up, it's going to try to get up to 50. So it's going to fly through. Raise through the, the, the yeah. So you might want to. <laughs> yeah. You don't want me to. You don't want me to break your car. No. You have insurance, but 
it's hard to get these cars, so we don't want to wreck them. You see, you can drive with this up, kind of. Yeah. Uh, it's not as good as it is in the Model S, but it overlays everything, and you can't do anything else with it. As soon as you touch next to it, it disappears. Yeah. So it's just overlaid over top of the map. The map is always there. Unlike the Model S, you can change it. So it looks like there's some stop traffic. It will stop. Yeah, I just want to make sure my foot's close. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. You've gotten to the place where you trust it all. Yeah. And that's that's good. But you. So it looks like we'll get off at the next exit because it's it's all red here. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. It'll stay a good distance away from that car. It's set to four four car lengths. Right now it's not four. As you get closer and go slower, it shortens the gap. Otherwise, cars will be cutting in front of you all the time. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's just once you get to speed, it's four car lengths away. When you're driving and you're on on, 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 you're on uh, cruise control, mm -hmm. and you step down on it and you go, it still is in cruise control. And when you let off, it takes it stops, goes back to where you were. Does this do that? Yeah, this will do that too. Once to a certain speed. If you go too fast, it'll actually boot you out of autopilot because you're being reckless. And then you have to actually stop the car and get out of the car. And okay and then re it reboots that way. It kind of puts you in timeout, autopilot timeout. When we turn, if no one's there, you can uh, you can give it a little throttle. Give it the beans. That wasn't even anything. I know, but I, <laughs> I didn't, like now I can give it something to get in here. If, if the truck tries to move over, will it move? Or? It'll hit the brakes and move over a little bit okay. uh, to get out of the way. A, a car or a truck, whatever it is. There's videos of it online doing that, but it, it'll move itself over and then hit the brakes if it has to. This is where the auto lane change and a long exit will work. I'll tell you when to put a turn signal on. It'll notice the lane in a second. And once, once it sees the line, there's the line, you can put the turn signal on. And it's actually going to... Did you do that or did the car do that? What's that? I did that because okay. it was coming up too fast. Yeah, he was moving over on you. Yeah. But it'll it'll track this car and actually probably follow this car the whole time. It, sh it should slow itself down. And you see it slowing itself down there. Actually, hit the brake because these cars are stopped. There's a lot of cars here. That's, here. that's why you have to pay attention. Pay attention. Yeah. yeah. And it that's when accidents can happen if you just let it do its thing because it's not fully baked yet. I mean, this is a beta. Yeah. And if there was only a couple cars all the way up there, then it would have been fine. It would slow down. It would have, it would have changed the speed limit to 50, then 40, then 30. And then it would have saw a car and then come to a stop. But those cars are way back there where it was still 50 miles an hour. Right. It's a little nerve wracking letting someone else drive your car, but <laughs> it's not as bad as Ashley driving it. That's Thank a little you. scarier. Thank you. I appreciate, I appreciate that. <laughs> She's doing better though. She's yeah. doing a lot better. She's get, I can tell she's getting more confident. Even without all of the fancy stuff that this car's got, it's still a comfortable car to drive. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's responsive. It, it, it's easy to drive, I should, I should say. It feels more nimble than the S. The S is heavier, yeah. and you can really tell the difference between right, these two. Right. I'll put the regenerative braking on low so you can see the difference, too, when, yeah. you, when you come up to the light. I've actually never put it on low. But I'm used to the standard, so. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, it's just like regular car coasting. Yeah. So I think the Model Y will be perfect for you. Just up a little higher? Yeah. Is that what it's planning on being? It's going to be this car, but a little bit bigger, a little higher. Probably about the same amount of room, but probably more frunk space and trunk space. And a little less range, but uh, I, I think it'd be a perfect car for you. So you wouldn't uh, have any problem with me just taking this and running off someplace with it? No, get your own car. <laughs> <laughs> okay.